Dogs come in all shapes and sizes. Some breeds are tall and leggy, while others are short and stocky. And of course, dogs are very much individuals, so they don't always fit their breed weight exactly. My name is Sue, and I'm a veterinary surgeon with Hills Pet Nutrition. And today, I'm going to show you how to body condition score your dog. It's an easy technique that vets do in their clinics, and you can do at home. It doesn't require any scales or special equipment, and it's called body condition scoring. Body condition scoring uses a five point scale. The ideal score is three. Dogs that score more than three are overweight, and a score lower than three means a dog is underweight. So now I'm going to score Ruby. Ruby's an eight year old chocolate Labrador. And first, I'm going to make a visual assessment. I'm looking at her outline. I can see that the line of her tummy tucks upwards. I can also see from this angle that she has a waist. It's easier though to see this from above. Ruby's a short haired dog, so all of this is easy to see. If your dog has long hair, you may need to confirm what you think you see using your hands to feel for the waist and tummy tuck. Next, I'm going to feel along Ruby's back like this. I can just feel her spine and no more, and I don't have to try too hard to find it at all. I can feel that it's reasonably covered and I can just feel some of the bumps of the bones of the spine. This continues to her tail base, where there's a smooth contour where the spine joins the tail and no thickening. And now I'm going to just feel over the ribs. I can do this by standing over Ruby and running my hands over them. I can feel each rib with a slight fat covering. I can't see the ribs, but I'm not struggling to find them by touch. So my assessment of Ruby is that she scored a three and that she is at her ideal body condition. That's really going to help her live a healthy, happy life. 